second properties, uh, chemical properties of acid. Two, uh, acids react with metal carbonate. Uh, metal carbonate, it will produce uh, salt, carbon dioxide, and water. Okay, salt, carbon dioxide, and water. Okay. So, so this is salt, carbon dioxide, and water. And uh, this equation is not balanced. Eh? Okay, so we need to have a two hydrochloric acid. Eh? So two hydrochloric acid react with carbonate, produces salt, carbon dioxide, and water. So I would like you to write the chemical equations. Okay, this one. Sulfuric acid with limestone. Eh? Limestone. Any idea? What is limestone? Any idea? Calcium carbonate. Yes. Usually, eh? okay. Uh, in cave, the, the, the rock around the cave is limestone, eh? okay? Okay, it's calcium carbonate. So I would like you to write the chemical equations. Eh? So for this one. So write the chemical equations between sulfuric acid and limestone and uh, nitric acid and, uh, or, uh, and copper carbonate, okay? Now sometimes eh, they, they will write uh, with marble. Okay, marble. So marble is also calcium carbonate. Eh? Okay, limestone or uh, marbles. Eh? So it's a uh, calcium carbonate. So I would like you to write the chemical equations here. Yeah. Okay, so this answer, yeah, sulfuric acid with calcium carbonate. The salt is calcium sulfate. Eh? So the salt is the negative ions from acid and the metals from carbonate. Eh? The metals are from the metal carbonate. Okay. This one also, okay, the salt is the uh, negative ions from acid, the nitrate with the metals, the uh, metals from carbonate. And uh, the other product is carbon dioxide and water. And this one, we need to have a tool here to balance the equations. So for this one, so acids react with base, uh, base oxide, it will produce salt and water, and acid with alkali also will produce salt and water. Okay, and these two reactions is called the neutralizations reactions. Uh, neutralizations reactions. So I give you the first equation and I would like you to write the second one. Okay, for this one, I'll give you the reactions. Uh, uh, sulfuric acid, okay, H2SO4, okay, uh, iron oxide, Fe, O, uh, iron oxide, and it will produce salt. It's a negative ion from acid and the metals. Uh. So iron sulfate plus water. This balance already. And for alkali, ethanoic acid, CH3, COOH, uh, react with sodium hydroxide. Okay, alkali, or alkali is a hydroxide. Okay, alkali a hydroxide. Or alkali is a hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide. So it will produce salt. Okay, for ethanoic acid, just now I told you that uh, if it dissociate, it dissociate in water, it will form uh, ethanoid ions uh, and hydrogen ions. So the negative ion is the ethanoid ions. Uh, and for ethanoic, the salt of ethanoid, uh, uh, we write the formula like this, okay? We write the negative ion first, okay? And then we put the sodium at the back. Uh, if the charge of the metal is one positive, uh, that's what we do, uh, okay? But if the charge is two positive, then uh, we will write the other way around. I will show you later. Water is produced, uh, okay? Now, the salt of ethanol, uh, okay? If uh, w the, the charge of the positive ion is one, like sodium sodium and potassium, uh, okay? The charge is one positive. Uh, then the, the salt, the salt we write CH3COOK. Okay, and this one we write CH three COO and A. Okay, the salt we put it, uh, the, the the metal we put it at the back. But if the charge of the ion is uh, two positive or three positive, like for example calcium eh, or magnesium, okay, uh, then the formula of the salt eh, we write the the metals in front, eh, CA in front, and then CH three COO two at the back. Okay. And magnesium also Mg and then CH3, COO, and then two at the back. So that is how we write the sort of the ethanol. Eh? Okay, if the metal, the charge is one positive, then the metal is at the back. But if the charge is two positive, then the metal is in front. Okay, so this is the formula of the sort. Eh? 
Okay, now for this one, yeah, hydrochloric acid and magnes with magnesium oxide and uh, hydrochloric acid and ammonia solutions. Um, okay, this one I think you don't know. Okay, so this one. Okay, so this answer, okay. 2HCl plus MgO, you get MgCl2 plus H2, uh, okay. This is a salt, magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas, uh, okay. Now for uh, reactions involve ammonia, ammonia is alkali, uh, ammonia is alkali. The equation is like this, the hydrochloric acid react with ammonia, NH3, uh, NH3, and then the products is uh, NH4Cl, ammonium chloride, ammonium chloride. Uh, yes, this is uh, water. Sorry, yeah, this is water. So, okay, so this is water, and okay, hydrochloric acid and ammonia. Okay, the product is ammonium chloride. Eh? Ammonium chloride, uh, and then uh, you don't need to write water. Okay, here is is uh, here is stated that the product is salt and water. Okay, now in this reaction, yes, water is produced. Eh? Water is produced, but uh, it's not shown in the equations. But it's not shown in the equations. I will, I will explain to you later when we discuss alkali. I will explain to you later. So for the time being, you just need to know that acid reacts with ammonia. It produces salt, and uh, we uh, ignore the water. We do not include the water in the equations. What is neutralizations? Okay, neutralization is the reactions between uh, base and uh, acid. Acid with base, you produce salt and water, and this process is called neutralizations. Okay, this reaction is called a neutralization reaction. Uh, this is neutralization, okay, it's not, uh, it's a typo here. N-E-U, uh, neutralization, it's a typo. Uh, 